all the way through. Uh, I think for Void is that he just transitioned more into content creation and streaming. Not that saying he couldn't be a top five, but I think Void was more consistent than Larry sometimes. And that was the thing is that Larry was slowly becoming consistent in tournaments, but COVID happened. So he never had the chance to keep that consistency, which is a real shame because Larry was on the way. Charlie was definitely on, like all pretty much there. Nico was on the way. Like, and with that happening and Wi-Fi happening all together, oh man, it just destroyed SoCal. It pretty much made SoCal start again from round, from square one. I think East Coast gets to start from square three, in my opinion. Yeah, I could see what you mean. Uh, I, I definitely agree with what you said. Yeah. E East Coast is like, like, I would say, arguably two steps ahead of us. But uh, to get uh, to... To get into the match now, uh, as we can see. Oh Ethan, no. Oh, using the super jump punch right there. Man, it, you, you have to be careful about Luigi. Like, if you do like a roll get up or any kind of roll or a laggy move, they can do up, be out of shield, and you're kind of screwed. So the funny look, thing oh. is, like, Ape Man has played against Elegant before, like, online and offline a couple times. Um. This is kind of a different matchup for Ape Man as a player because he has to play very patient. And the thing about Ape Man, he's, he becomes very aggressive. He's definitely one of those players that doesn't sit back with Rob as much. He will use his lasers, but he'll use his lasers, his projectiles to close the gap like so. He'll toss in gyro, then he'll go in. He gets that back air, but you can see how aggressive he is. When you play against Luigi, you will win against Luigi the minute you decide to play the zoning game. Luigi cannot win against any kind of zoner. He will lose to Rob, he will lose to Richter, he will lose to Link, you name it. If you're a zoner, Luigi will, like Samus is a really rough matchup for Luigi. So by that process, you have to play this as a zoner. Uh, but we'll see if, how Ape Man wants to do it. Like I said, he's very aggressive, so it's up to him. He is able to get that tech reset there on that situation and smash that down tilt into the down air as he sees the ledge invincibility is gone. I'm telling you that aggressiveness will pay off but it's all about how much he can get away with it because eventually Keanu will catch on to that as we saw how he was able to parry the Nair. Using that attack get up right there. Oh, using the down throw and to Cyclone. Not killing good DI, but then at the same time, this is Town and City. And missing that grab, which led to uh, a fault and that up smash came out by Keanu. Gyro coming out and using the gyro once again and gonna use it for the ledge. Oh, what a uh, snipe. Oh, the snipe. Oh, he's not dead yet. Good DI. That was good from Ape Man. That was smart. That was yeah. so risky just because, like, if it was the misfire, but you can tell Ape Man was at such low percent, it literally didn't matter if it was a misfire. Ape Man out here showing everybody that you don't have to wait for tomorrow to see that laser kill off the stage, man. Kazuya is not the only one with the laser. Rob has one, too, and you never want to forget that. So, man, Ape Man definitely, like I said... He is very aggressive where he needs to be. Uh, like Keanu, not too far behind. I think, is like I said, he was able to get that parry into the up B, and, and Luigi can steal stocks that way, but also punish an over-aggressive opponent that way. It all depends. Uh, Ape Man made the wise trade. That's why we call him uh, Top 8 Man. Actually, I feel like I should put his tag that way from now on. I'm top 8 Man. <laughs> But yeah, that was, uh, it actually, I think it was a misfire by what I saw, and nothing happened to Ape it, man. Like, he was just like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tank it, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, wow, that, I can't believe that, uh, the green missile, uh, misfired led into his doom. I actually thought that Robo Beam was gonna kill though. I actually this the snipe. I, I really thought it was gonna kill. Maybe if it was a little bit stronger, it probably would have. Yeah, if it was a little bit stronger, it definitely would have got him, um, got him for sure. But nonetheless, here's game two between both players, Ape Man and Keanu, at it again. Uh, honestly, Smash at any big stage is really good against Luigi. So we'll see how, what stage choices they made. Honestly, going back to Town City is kind of the best of both worlds. Just because you do have that bid stage and the opportunity for FD, the platforms all together. I think for Ape Man and Rob, he definitely benefits way more off this against Luigi. Uh, good stuff for Ape Man, looking to see if he was gonna actually miss grabbing the ledge there. 
but Keanu starts off with the grab, and this could end horribly for Ape Man because Rob is a huge hurt wow. box. And as I say that, that does end horribly. I'm not wrong. And like I said, you want to play this kind of like a zoner. There are there are opportunities where Ape Man can be very aggressive, but just Keanu having that lead, it is going to force Ape Man to consider that aggressive aspect just a little bit more. Yeah, that that combo. Yeah, this is something that Luigi is notorious for. It is very hard to pull off on certain characters. But it, it is doable. That misfire coming out, good air dodge to avoid getting hit by the up air, but it also getting hit by the projectiles. As you can see, Ape Man's tried to space a little bit more and uh, tried to just keep Keanu away as much as possible. As you can see, he just rolled away and ran to use that the Robo Beam and throwing mm -hmm. at the Gyro with another Robo Beam. Getting hit by that downer though. Good up smash to finish off to quickly finish up that uh, that stock and dash dancing right there. I like to call it the robo laser. I actually don't know the real term. I feel oh, like the I real got... term is robo beam. Okay, I like to call it laser because I think when I think of laser, I think of fast. But the only reason why I want to call it laser is just because after seeing today's direct, at the time of this recording, of course, I'm pretty excited to see how Kazi is going to use that devil laser. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, for Ape Man, honestly, like I said, he kind of has to play this a little bit differently now because he lost the first stock so easily. And Keanu, honestly, he just has to wait for Ape Man to be that overly aggressive. And that's how he was able to get the grab. Ape Man doing a pretty good job. platform camping at the situation because he's looking for the opening. But most importantly, he has to play that zoner style game. What a trap with a gyro to see if Keanu was going to tech roll inward for center stage. Good use of the Nair uh, to keep, uh, to read Keanu's jump at, uh, jump using the grab down throw going for the up tilt met they i think they trade it's like a minor trade right there that was weird uh, using that robo beam though and getting back to stage with the robo burner using the down tilt gyro missing that robo beam once again i think he was expecting keanu to oh, fastball no. and that cyclone it's a very good move i mean it's uh it does multiple hits which racks up damage and also has high knockback so it's, it's a very good move. Oh, using Robo Arms, the last hit hit. The rotor Arms hit. Okay, that that was good because like Keanu did shield, but he dropped it right at the last hit. I saw that. That was that's rough. And that that this is giving Ape Man, Man a chance right now. Getting hit by that plunger though. Up up till up air up air. Good thing he died out of that, uh, died away from the combo. Good use of the Robo Beam to uh, keep Keanu away from him. The forward tilt. All gonna, he's gonna use that jab to like do a jab lock, I believe. Oh, so close there with the up from Keanu. Uh, able to barely recover though, he is gonna get punished here. Ape Man knows he has to read the landing there. And it's close enough up tilt, doesn't get the up air, but I like how he decides to just hold the stage either way. Oh man, getting hit by Luigi's dash attack hurts me the most because it kills now, but most importantly, it just, it's such a sissy move. Uh, unfortunately, no. Ape Man will lose so much of that fuel trying to avoid so much from Luigi and Keanu will walk away with that second game in his hands. Was it just me or did I see uh, Ape Man uh, become like he did his back here, but then he fast fell? And yeah, he, he did, did. He did. He did. He did a little too low. Oh, wow. I didn't know that you could do that with Rob. That's interesting. I mean, I do I do know, like, that the back air can send you, like, a certain way. But dang. I didn't know you could send yourself, uh, like, fastball during you do it. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, you could do it with every character. <laughs> Ish. All right. Uh, looks like it's 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, this, this is a best out of five, ladies and gentlemen. And apparently, Keanu's not going to go to the nest. Yeah, I, oh. honestly, this is a like I said, this is a this is a rough matchup for Luigi. But Keanu's not doing too bad. Honestly, he kind of it all it all comes down to the player matchup at this point, for what I feel, and how aggressive Ape Man is as a player and how he can be. Like I said, he pull out everything out there. Right, he put out the gyro, the laser, the arms, man. He had every tool in the Rob textbook in play just for that one opportunity. But you have to see how Keanu was at the ledge. If that came through 
for our Ape Man, he would have taken that stock for sure. But that just goes to show how aggressive Ape Man is with this character. What a trap with the gyro. Uh, once again, too. No trapping center stage is so important against Luigi because you force him off to the side. But uh, like I said, Ape Man has to play with his cards very, very, not necessarily close to his chest, but he's got to play them very, very cautiously. I would say cautiously optimistic because, like I said, Keanu can adapt to that. He has proven that he can take things away from Ape Man with his ability to combo with Luigi. But as you can see, that uh, Ape Man is using his gyro to combo into his laser, which is uh, very interesting. Oh, just, I see him spam that gyro right there. Charge, ch once again, charging up the gyro. Gonna use that downer to slow his fall. And using the robo burner to get back up to stage. Nice back uh, whiff into a uh, robo beam right there. But sadly, it did get parried. Gyro is slowing down, and he just picked it up right before. And once again, gyro to uh, robo beam. He's, he's always gonna pull that. I'll use the down tilt because he lost invincibility. That nair also coming out too. Good air dodge though to avoid that gyro. Another air dodge, another good air dodge to avoid the projectiles. As you can see, Keanu is adapting to Ape Man's aggressiveness with his uh, projectiles using down throw and Cyclone. Not gonna kill. He, Luigi at max. Oh, I should say at the same time, he was not over a hundred. So, but he did. Uh, Keanu did have max rage. So he has to be careful here because oh. one. Oh, yeah, he just had to accept defeat there. Yeah, that Z jump on the gyro was smart for Ape Man. He knows just one. The gyro is so active. The thing about what makes gyro one of the best projectiles in the game is that it not only it's a projectile, you can throw it, it'll launch at an angle, but the fact that you have to interact with it when it's on the ground and that it's so active for so long, it forces you to really respect that projectile from Ape, from, from Rob, honestly. So that's crazy stuff. Uh, still, Ape Man sets up with an excellent combo. Traps the landing there with Gyro. Like I said, it is the MVP within Rob's toolkit. What a mix-up on the, on the charge there from Ape Man because he knows he wanted to read the landing against Keanu, but Keanu finally with the back air. Some space to breathe. Tosses up the Gyro upwards. looking Hopefully hopefully looking to get that away from Rob. Look at the Gyro right there and another Rebel beam. Oh, down air. Oh, just missing that up air. Yeah, Keanu, as I, I can see now that Keanu's using his air dodges a lot more, using the fourth throw. Oh, no. Oh, he he, land, he landed onto the platform and he rolled backwards. He he thought he was in the air and I can see I can see that he was trying to tech. But sadly, he was on the platform. Very unfortunate for him. And right now, Ape Man's got him in a small combo right here. Missing the uh, rotor, uh, the arm rotor, but that's uh, that's okay because he still has this extra stock pressuring him with that nair, hitting the gyro, throwing it again. Oh, just missing that robo beam as well. Yeah, that aggressiveness, just pressuring Keanu. You can see that Keanu's panicking right now in his gameplay using the green missile. Oh, what? He did him. Oh goodness, he he did him like that. That spike. Wow! I Excellent gameplay here from Ape Man. I wouldn't have liked that spike either if it happened to me. I'm telling you that right now. For Ape Man, that was ex well played. But honestly, still looking at the trade that he could have gotten from the up B. If Luigi did get that up B, um, he would have hit Rob, and he would have not have tried to have been as close to the ledge as much as possible. So Ape Man had two plans in action: stop Luigi from getting that up B, which was already in play. And then at worst, he has to go for the downer, which we all know how Rob can use that downer with his recovery. So good stuff to Ape Man. Like I said, textbook demonstration of what you can do with the character, especially with how you can trap the ledge, how you can use gyro, but also how you can uh, definitely force good trade situations with your opponents. Uh, I do believe in the comeback for Keanu, man. Keanu, last time he lost one, he won one. This is game four. If there's anything of a pattern here, Keanu may be winning the next one and putting us to game five. Or maybe Ape Man doesn't sense the pattern and he says, you know what? There's a reason why they call me Top Ape Man. I'm about to demonstrate to you that in this game five. Yeah, I mean, that peak performance gameplay from... Oh, right now, Ape... See? I, that was a minor trade, but almost zero to death right there, yeah. Like I said before, Luigi is notorious for his combos, especially because Vance said that Rob's huge hurt box is uh, one of his biggest downfalls against combo-heavy characters like Luigi.
Yeah, Luigi, Mario, those are characters that Rob can suffer with. Cloud, to some extent, there. Uh, I think that what's good for Ape Man is he has that strong mental composure, and he knows Luigi can take stocks like that. That's going to happen. You have to keep that mental composure. A lot of normal players would be very upset at that. Ape Man knows I have to keep calm and collected all the way through. That'll happen. It's normal. It's a Monday night for me. It's another day at the office. Let's, keep, let's go to the next stock, and let's figure out how I'm going to get that. Yeah, and to add on to what Vance said, like, he, he has that mentality of like, okay, I messed up and he got me into this. What am I going to do next stock to not get into that situation again? And catching him with that up smash to finish off Keanu's first stock. And both of them were actually staying in the air for a long time. Ape Man getting back on the stage was going to use that down tilt to try to uh, trip Keanu right there. Nice double up air to catch Keanu and rack up that damage. Uh, throwing Gyro downwards and Arm Rotor not getting that last hit. And sadly, he uh, he it did uh, come out to hurt him in the end and getting killed by that back air. Oh, surprisingly, Keanu was going to go for the roll getup. And as you can see, either 8-Bit Man like, was just going to do it as an accidental. But I feel like he meant to do that to catch his roll. Nice down, uh, good down throw, uh, but not following it up with the, uh, the the down air. Now you can see Ape Man's trying to spike right now. Oh, doing another rotor arm to attempt twice wasn't really the smartest choice. But hey, I mean, he got back to stage. Oh, getting grabbed again. This actually, yeah, he's at too high percent, so which is good. It's like once that you're at a high enough percent against Luigi like at the same you want Luigi to hit you so you don't get zero to death but at the same time you don't want him to because it'll rack up damage but overall I mean at any day I would take 20 damage so I don't get zero to death by Luigi yeah the Luigi combo is not as bad as the Luigi death combo uh, at that point you rather have one over the other but Ape Man looking for to have a victory over the loss here like I said there is a pattern here and Keanu has been able to find his way into game wow. five he did win one he lost one I'm sorry he lost one he won one lost one he won one and that's how we get here to what is potential what is the last game between these two uh big opening from Keanu right off the bat dude he did not hesitate to just go for that grab uh, that's the that's the FGC classic, man. If you know there's a distance between your and a, your opponent, and you can win right away, why not just pull it out and get that W? All right, game five. So, actually, very intense match between these two players. Like, I I actually want to see will uh, will they switch characters at all or stage at least? I mean, because this whole match they've been going town. So let's see how this turns out. Put your hands, uh, the get hype chat. This is this is gonna be game five situation. Yeah, game five uh, between these two, uh, Ape It Man, definitely one of the players I could for sure see take this W over Keanu. But he kind of has, like I said, he has to play more of this as a zoner aspect than the aggressiveness aspect. Uh, we do kind of see a little bit of that because he will place out all his tools to be able to get that one strong interaction but it's game five it's do or die it's literally your tournament winner's life now you're not out just yet but if i were ape man you kind of want to stay within that top eight just like how flaming waffles stays in the 2g gang and joins us for what is top five i'm sorry what is game five between both of these players i tried to show that out so hard i'm sorry i messed up there <laughs> all right here we go final game hopefully uh, i'm actually Excited to see how this turns out. Oh wow! Not not oh that was close right there. That that could have ended badly for Keanu, but good good thing he kept his calm and was just like, okay, just gotta upbeat. Uh, just gotta use my super jump punch one more time and I'll be fine. Cause it goes. Uh, I think I believe it goes higher than Mario's, but uh, does it goes uh, it goes more vertical and less sideways. Yeah. That's possibly and a downer. Oh, Ape Man barely missing that. Good down smash to cover the get up, the roll, and even the, new, um, the aerial too as well. Downer is going to be the one thing that he can for sure get there. Unfortunate for Keanu, not able to grab the ledge. He's just going to get stuck there like a dart. Yeah, I mean that's the uh, like that's the worst part about Green Missile is that if you don't uh, snap ledge or at least like just 
you don't want to be close to the stage itself. You will get stuck. So it's an easy, it's an easy stage spike or spike in itself, and you will get. Uh, it will hurt your uh, game very much. And hopefully Keanu can bring this back and see what he can. I, I'm actually interested to see how uh, he's doing mentally and what since what just happened because that was the first time that happened this entire set yeah as you can see ape man getting back up with the robo burner but having trouble with that down tilt and wow okay as you can see he got hit by that back here and uh died right there so hopefully keanu can bring this back though i mean it's doing pretty well at 80% but I mean he's back on the he's in the middle of the stage right now just trying to oh using that plunger to uh, interrupt 8-bit man's moves and give him a little hit stun so we could have an opportunity to try to do a small combo nice grab and oh just missing that up air he did have the gyro for a second and I believe it just disappeared and uh, landing with the Nair, but then getting hit by the up smash. Yeah, Ape Man, he's not going to give Keanu those free landings. He, uh, he knows I got, I have victory in my hands. I can play lame and win the game. And essentially, that's the best kind of W you can get against a character like Luigi. You have to play that super lame game. And he, look at this. He knows. Keanu has to come to me. It's kind of like, nah, bro, I'm not going to be trapped in there with you. I'm not even, you're not, you're not going to be trapped in here with me. You're going to sit there and I'm going to be on this platform and you have to respect everything I've got because I'm the one holding the lead here. And for Ape Man, just goes to show that's how you have to really adapt to your opponent, but play the play the lead. You, it's not about just getting the lead and holding the lead, but also playing with it as well. Ape Man knows he can do that with this character here. Uh, final lands on the stage. Good neutral air just to catch Keanu, possibly on an aerial there, just because, you know, Luigi might be looking for some kind of way to get in. Uh, the five percent stage is kind of happening right now, and for your Ape Man, he's so much is looking for the lead here. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, Keanu's shield is getting pretty small, but I mean, he hasn't been using it for a while. But as you can see, Keanu is using his shield a lot more because he has to play passive now and getting hit by that up to up air. Very rough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that was a great game five though. I mean great performance from both players as you can see Keanu just has to uh, tweak a few things, but Wow, like 